G'day world, I'm Coram E from Fly On E. That's right, that electric plane guy here to show you the Pipistrel Alpha Electro all electric light sport aircraft. It's a two seater aircraft. Uh, in Australia, we're registered with RA Oz, so the light sport category aircraft, as designated by the number on the side here, and is perfect for flying short recreational uh, flights and for training in RAL's flight training schools. And we're going to do a little walk around now to uh, just check out the beauty. So I've flipped cameras, and here we are. Let's do a little tour. As you can see, quite a wide wingspan, which helps this aircraft achieve its 16 to 1 glide ratio. Very amazing glide ratio. And uh, you get a lot of efficiency in straight and level flight. Now, you can see it's a beautifully shaped and crafted airframe. It's all carbon composite. This amazing airframe, Pipistrel have done an incredible job of crafting a very, very beautiful machine. Now let's have a look at some of the details here on the wings. We don't have flaps, we don't have ailerons, we have flapperons. Now that is actually the official term <laughs> for those. Oh, we got a little bit of a refresh issue from the lights there. Forgive that. Uh, up the top here we have the ballistic parachute system that can deploy in the event of a major emergency. As you can see here still, beautiful shapes and lines on the design of the aircraft. Absolutely magnificent. It's a very, very modern, sharp looking, highly efficient airframe design. You can see it's shaped for the air to just swoop over the airframe sleekly as it moves through the sky, which helps this electric aircraft fly further because with electricity as our power source, we need maximum efficiency. Uh, triple prop here, beautiful nose cone, all carbon composite. We have the charger plugged in, but not currently charging, just for exhibition purposes at the moment. We've actually been spending a bit of time trying to run down this aircraft today because it's going to be stored for a few days and we need to store it without full power. There's, oh, my mask is on the seat there. There we go. <laughs> Fly an e-mask. Get yours at the website. Amazing. Now, uh, beautiful leather seats. Very comfortable. All leather covers on the roof, on the A-pillars, uh, down along the floor, side sections here. All leather, really nice machine. All carbon fiber dash, very modern digital instrumentation to let you know what's going on with your engine, your artificial horizon, your airspeed indicator, your altimeter, all of our breakers and switches that isolate different parts of the aircraft. I'm gonna show you actually something quite nice here. I'm gonna turn on the nav lights. Just engage everything there. And uh, this is worth a look. It's a really nice detail on the plane. Now this is going to be quite bright. Show you what's going on here. And uh, we've got our nav and strobe beaming out at the moment. Now I'm going to flick that off and then show you what this looks like extinguished. When I, I'll be honest, when I very first unpacked this aircraft from the shipping container, I thought that these were a blank and that we didn't actually have any lights fitted and I was going to have to manually install some. However, uh, Pipistrel have just done a really beautiful, sleek design element there and fitted something that looks like a blank, very highly protected, doesn't protrude from the airframe much. Maximum efficiency and low risk for, of hangar rash, which uh, as you aviators know is a thing. The plane gets beat up more in the hangar than it does anywhere else. So continuing the tour here, this is the 20 kilowatt charger, one of the bigger ones available. I plugged into a three phase power outlet and then we plug into the aircraft and charge the aircraft quite quickly. A one to one charge. So that means if you fly for an hour, it's gonna take you about an hour to charge again. If you're only flying for 20 or 30 minutes, you might only charge for 20 or 30 minutes. We should get close to one to one charge ratio with the biggest charges available, which is amazing. There are smaller charges that draw less energy, take longer to charge. But with the biggest, baddest charges, you can get this thing charged in as quick as you run down the battery. Very amazing. So I have a couple of more elements of design here. Full carbon fiber spats. Uh, so they're nice and strong for when some twit eventually kicks it, which they will. And then it's a little bit stronger here. And no nose wheel spat, which is very deliberate. There's a little bit of shimmy on the nose wheel when a spat is attached. So uh, by decree of Pipistrel, that's been uh, de-installed. And just a little wide, wide view again of this beautiful aircraft. And my camera's struggling with the white balance here because it's just a basic phone camera. But there it is, the Pipistrel Alpha Electro. Currently the only one in Australia 
So currently the only one in Western Australia. Uh, we're trying to change that. We've got more on the way soon. This amazing aircraft operates fantastically as a trainer in flight schools. It's much cheaper to operate than internal combustion aircraft. So flight schools everywhere are starting to adopt these, uh, including where I'm at right now, Cloud Dancer Aviation, uh, sorry, Cloud Dancer Pilot Training in Jandicott, Western Australia, who uh, train new aviators in the Pipistrel Alpha Electro. If you want to fly electric, if you want to learn to fly the future of aviation, you do it right here in Jandicott, Western Australia, where you can fly WA's currently the only electric aircraft in WA operating in a flight school. But very, very soon, as we expand our range of uh, charging nodes available across Western Australia, we're building quite a large array of charging nodes at regional areas all through the southwest and up the north, northern corridor as well. There'll be many more places to fly and many more flight schools will be operating these in the very near future. It's a no-brainer, much cheaper to operate, much cheaper to service. The service regime is a lot lighter on an electric aircraft than a combustion engine aircraft and of course it's zero emissions and if you have a fantastic solar array on the roof of your hangar you can charge it for next to nothing or nothing at all in terms of cost. So absolutely without a doubt electric aviation will start to not only creep in to light sport aviation but very very soon start to take over the light sport aviation category. The cost of acquisition of the aircraft is not dissimilar to a regular aircraft. The cost of maintenance is somewhere in the realm of one tenth of maintaining an internal combustion aircraft. And of course, there's zero emissions. So get on over to www.flyone.com.au and have a look at more information on this aircraft and other future aircraft we're bringing into Western Australia and all of Australia as we build a bigger and better electric aviation charge node network to span all regional areas, starting with Western Australia and spreading Australia-wide as early and as soon as we possibly can to bring electric aviation to more people as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I want to see you here again soon to tell you more about the development of electric aviation in Western Australia and beyond.